BBC has addressed the huge wave of backlash it's received since unveiling its studio makeover this week. On Saturday's installment of Newswatch, Samir Ahmed touched on the strong reaction from fans. Speaking about the new studio, she said, it's moved to a new, much larger, state-of-the-art studio which it will share with BBC Sport at their joint base in Salford. There are seven cameras, three more than in the old studio A new branding. The famous red sofa remains but the main presenters now don't spend all their time sitting down on it. Samira then read out messages from viewers which highlighted their outrage. Showing a bulletin from one person, she read, Lorraine Allison wondered about the thinking behind that last move, asking, why have presenters taken to standing as they present the news? I don't mind this, but when they stand with their hand in their pocket it looks very unprofessional, please don't let your standards drop. Echoing this viewer's thoughts, Samira shared another response from a gentleman called Peter Privet. She read, angles and perspective are all wrong. The colors are far too dominant. The set is a distraction to whatever is being discussed. Why is it better to have a presenter standing up than sitting down? Don't miss. BBC host left blushing as Dolly Parton dresses sexy for breakfast interview, video, Immerdale star confirms family drama for Maddie Barton after Amy proposal, soap, Kate Garraway shares Prince William's gesture to husband Derek at MBE ceremony, royal, although there were a few people who welcomed the change, it looked as though the majority weren't pleased. Newswatch was given a statement by the BBC based on the backlash that Samira was able to reveal. Reading the BBC statement, given by design director Peter Day, she revealed, there's much more space now. It's light and airy, and there are design features that will feel familiar to audiences from our revamped Studio B in London home to our main 1, 6 and 10 news bulletins like the large catwalk screen and towers. They help us to tell the stories in different and more impactful ways we're trying to get away from static presenters sat behind desks. Sticking to the theme of studios, Samira highlighted that over the past few weeks, Newswatch has been confined to a smaller space. However, she revealed that's all set to change soon as they plan to be back in their old space. She added, we're pleased to say we will be back in our regular home from next week with our very own red sofa. Newswatch airs on Saturday mornings during BBC Breakfast. from